Now you can easily make your favourite childhood dessert with the Breville Smart Scoop. It's the first compressor ice cream maker with load sensing that lets you set and forget. This banana frozen yoghurt recipe is one of many sure crowd pleasing favourites that are included in the recipe section of the instruction booklet. Place the paddle securely into the 1.5 quart bowl. The outside needs to be completely dry or the water can turn to ice and cause it to get stuck. Pour the mixture into the ice cream bowl and place it into the smart scoop. Then choose from the 12 hardness settings. Turn the dial to the right for harder textured dessert like gelato or ice cream and dial to the left for softer sorbet and this frozen yogurt. If you want to tailor to your preferred consistency or for a pre-timed recipe, you can mix in manual mode. The optional pre-cool function can be used before both manual and automatic settings and only takes about 10 minutes to cool. That same button can activate the child lock by holding it down for two seconds. To make it faster, I'm definitely going to press pre-cool. Great for entertaining, the keep cool setting will keep the consistency of the dessert by chilling and churning for up to three hours. There's also an option to switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius. But to alert you to when your dessert's ready, the big decision remains to choose from the jingles, beeps or a mute option. But that doesn't really scream ice cream. Ice cream usually takes about 50 minutes to churn and chill. But if your recipe calls for chocolate chips, fresh fruit or flavourings, there'll be a ding at about three to five minutes just before your ice cream reaches its desired consistency. When it's done, remove blade will flash. Use the included spatula to remove the frozen dessert from the bowl into a freezer container. You can immediately serve or since it's all natural and free from stabilisers and preservatives, it will store for one week in the freezer. To prevent ice crystals from forming, put plastic film directly over the top before storing in the freezer. The bowl should be hand washed. Use the included bottle brush to clean inside of the scraper blade. The Smart Scoop, brought to you by the Food Thinkers of Breville. This is the Cuisinart Soft Serve Ice Cream Maker. It's a lot of fun to use. It's great to do with your kids or with your nieces and nephews. It makes one and a half quarts of soft serve style ice cream and you can even use a yogurt recipe in this. It's a lot of fun. It's really easy to use. Let me just show you. You lift this up. This is where your dasher is and your auger, which helps dispense your ice cream. This is your freezer bowl. This goes right in the freezer. We recommend that you put it in there overnight or at least for eight hours at zero degrees. You can mount this right back on, clicks right into place, and there's a, a pour hole here so you can add your ingredients through here or um, put them in before you put the lid on. It's really simple to operate. There's a little dial on the side. You turn it on and in about 20, 25 minutes, you'll have soft serve ice cream. It's really fun to use. You just pull down this handle like this and it'll dispense your ice cream. But the part that kids love the best are the mix-it-ins. There's three um, containers right here in which you can have your mix-it-ins. The thing to remember is we give you the, this little cone and if the item fits through this cone hole then you can add, use it as a mix-it-in. That's very important. The way to, to activate it is pull out your little lever. You can choose one, two or three mix-it-ins at one time and it'll be dispensed into your ice cream as you pull the handle down. This right here is where you can put your cones. You can either put um, flat cones like I used or you can use waffle cones. It has a really nice drip tray right here which will cut, catch any spills or drips that you made. It's a lot of fun to use. It's a lot of fun for kids to do with you also. So enjoy homemade soft serve ice cream. Enjoy fresh creamy homemade ice cream and sorbet with the KitchenAid ice cream maker attachment. Simply freeze the bowl, attach it to your KitchenAid stand mixer. Then let the mixer stir in your favorite fresh ingredients for a homemade, delicious creation. The power and convenience of the KitchenAid stand mixer easily creates two quarts of sorbet, gelato, and other frozen desserts. Perfect for guests and family for a deliciously sweet ending. Premium performance, exceptional results, legendary KitchenAid quality. Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is the Cuisinart Pure Indulgence 2-Quart Ice Cream Maker. 
can also use it to make sorbet. So it's simple and easy to use. Let me show you the parts. This is your paddle, which is going to mix um, your ice cream as it's freezing. This is your freezer bowl. You can tell it's all nice and icy. We left it in the freezer overnight. That's the best thing to do. Um, and then you're gonna just put the paddle in like so, and you put the lid on. And you just twist to put it in. The lid also has a nice large um, hole in the top, and that is um, great for adding um, some of your ingredients in at the end, or even when the machine's mixing. So you can pour your uh, liquid ice cream base in there, or um, as you get towards the end of your ice cream being finished, you can add things like nuts or little M&Ms. Um, so that's a lot of fun to do. It's all stainless steel housing. It has a really simple operation. All you do is turn it on with this and, turn, and you turn it off when it's done. So let's go ahead and make some ice cream. So this base was made earlier. We have lots of great recipes in the instruction booklet. And make sure that um, whatever base you're using, whether you're making it um, a cooked base, more like a custard, or just with fresh milk, make sure the ingredients are cold and chilled before you add them to the ice cream maker. So this happens to be a um, fresh strawberry um, ice cream base. What we're going to do is we're going to let that mix for about 20-25 minutes. We're going to come back and check on it and it's going to be finished. So let's check on our strawberry ice cream. I'm going to turn this off. Um, it was uh, mixing for about 20-25 um, minutes. I'm going to give it a little taste. It's really sweet and nice and airy. The thing that you should do now is remove it from this freezer bowl, put it in a food storage container, Put it in the freezer and it'll harden up nice and hard and you can enjoy your homemade ice cream.